Welcome back to the City Stead, everyone. What do you think? You want to do some winter beekeeping with me? All right, so check in the weather report. It looks like we got nothing but bad weather coming our way. But today is nice and 50 degrees outside, so we're going to try to do something really quick. So this right here is called a Vivaldi board. And uh, I picked this up because in vino, we trust. So if you guys know, I've been a little bit nervous about my winter beekeeping. I'm afraid I'm going to lose my hive. Because it gets so cold and I'm not sure I'm doing everything right for the winter. So I wrapped it in foam board. Uh, you know, I'm trying to do the best I can. Uh, there's a lot to learn about beekeeping. And I feel like my inexperience is really catching up to me as we headed into winter. Uh, so I think I'm doing everything okay. But then I saw Vino's video. I will link it down below. Uh, Vino is a very, very uh, accomplished beekeeper. So he knows a ton. And he was talking about this Vivaldi board. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute. I don't remember ever seeing anything about that before and then I started researching a little bit more and I was like you know what that seems like this is the solution to what we need so this Vivaldi board is like a winter feeder and it also works for ventilation so it's like the perfect twosome for what you need for your beehive right so as you can see here it actually acts as like an inner cover that's what this holds for it's like your inner cover hole right the bees will be able to go in and out of there. It also has a nice little uh, entrance for the bees down here. And it goes underneath. So it can actually have a top entrance into the hive. And it also has a little vents here with some mesh on the inside of them. So that, you know, nothing can get in there. And this will actually act as a way to vent your hive. So as the moisture rises in the hive in the winter, we, what we'll do is put some pine shavings in here. And it'll absorb the moisture. And this will help air it out to dry that stuff out. It'll pull the moisture out of the hive, and then it'll vent out through the vents. Perfect, perfect, really. This is something that goes on your hive in summer also. In summer, you would just take your bed in or your uh, burlap, as Vino uses, and you would take it out of here and let it be, because then you don't really need it in the summer. But in the winter, it acts as a way to absorb that moisture from the hive. And then it also has this. Now, what you would do is pack this with fondants or some kind of feed, and you would put it over the top of that hole, right? And then they would be able to go in through there and get into whatever they need to get into up here to eat. Now, I'm not gonna do that because I saw a recent video that he did, which is updated how he feeds his hives. So then I went and I picked up this nice little shim. So because the inner cover is already on there, and I don't wanna change the way it's set up as of right now because they have sealed that inner cover. I'm gonna throw this on top of the inner cover I'm going to pour sugar on top of the inner cover that they can eat. Then I'm going to put this Vivaldi box on there with our top entrance for them. Then I'm going to put this upside down over top of the hole. So now by going upside down, I'm just reducing the space they had to get up in there. So hopefully they won't want to climb up in there and crawl around. Now he actually made a flat cover. I ain't got that kind of time. I got one day where it's 50 degrees and the rest of them are like 20s. So <laughs> we gotta get this on there or we're gonna run out of time. But I think this is gonna be our setup for the winter. I think this is gonna work really, really nice. So enough of the yap, yap, yapping. Let's get out there. Oh, I probably won't wear the gloves today because I don't think we're gonna be in there very long. I'm gonna pop that thing open. We're gonna work really quickly to get everything we need to get done done. I do not want to make those girls mad. So I actually got this Vivaldi board right here from Hive and Garden. I will make sure I link it down below for you so you can go find one if you're interested in something like this. Like I said, this is a summer and winter box. This is not just something you put on in just the winter. It is a good ventilation box. From everything I've read, it actually performs very well all season round. So I'm very, very happy uh, that I caught Vino's video when I did and I picked this up. I just wish I would have seen it earlier in the season so I could have gotten out here before the, the winter had started already. But we are only in December. You know, it's a little bit before Christmas here. So I think we still have time. I've been cleaning out a few dead bees on the front, but I know that they're in there because they keep pushing them out and pushing them out. So I know we still have some bees. So when I seen Vino, what he did was put paper over top of his frames and then pour the sugar on. So because I'm not moving this top off here, I'm gonna use it like a double top cover. I'm just going to pour some sugar right on top of here.
Then I'm going to take the shim, throw the shim on top of that. Keep them in. Now we're going to do our Vivaldi box. Top of there. I'm going to take this and put it in there. Like I saw. So that should work to hold them down in there so that they don't come out and try to fly out through this side and get into the bedding that we're going to put in there. Which will work really nicely so they'll have an entrance on the front. We'll have bedding to keep them warm. Alright, so here's our box now. You can see we got our pine shavings in there. We got the screen on there so they don't fly out on us. And uh, we're just gonna put the top cover back on and we're gonna hope that this works for them. Well, we'll see how that does, right? Haven't seen signs of life and uh, Knowing that they are still pushing some dead out to the front when it's uh, needed, I feel okay that I think they're still alive and doing okay. I don't want to take any of those boxes off of there because they have it all sealed up, that propolis. And uh, yeah, once they seal it up, yeah, you don't want to be taking it apart in the winter. First of all, it'll really tee them off. Second of all, uh, they have it sealed up for a reason. That's to keep the wind and all that kind of stuff out. That's their winter prep for their hive. So we don't want to mess with any of that. We're going to leave it how it is. Uh, we're going to put that box on there. We're going to hope that that helps keep moisture out of the hive. Hopefully that does enough and we get to keep our bees through the, through the winter into the spring. And then I can actually call myself a beekeeper. Because if they uh, die in the first season, I don't know if I can call myself a beekeeper. I'd be more like a bee tender. Well, I, I tended the bees for a little bit, but I didn't keep any of them. So hopefully, hopefully we turn out to be actual beekeepers and not just uh, bee tenders. So, <laughs> but I wanted to make sure you guys knew about this Vivaldi border because I, I, I honestly didn't see anything about it anywhere. I don't really see a lot of people talking about it. And then after I saw it on Vino's, I was like, whoa, that, that makes a lot of sense from everything I've read throughout uh, all the beekeeping books and you know resources I've read uh, that talk a lot about the moisture and all that stuff and how to keep it out of there and that seemed like a really good way with that Vivaldi box you wouldn't need an inner cover like that because that would actually act like an inner cover uh, like I would do with that frame on there with no food in it for the summer uh, and then they wouldn't be able to climb up into that box so they wouldn't be up in that box at all they'd just be a top cover with a little bit of airspace and ventilation out the end so a really good setup i'm really looking forward to how the hive is going to do next year even if it's a different hive if we have to get a new uh nook and start it off in there and everything for for this next season i think the Valdi board is going to be a great addition for summer fall winter beekeeping and it's really going to do a lot for the health of our hives especially in those really hot hot summer days you get a little extra ventilation in there so I'm looking forward to uh, the, having it in the rotation. And uh, if we ever decide to get and split and get more highs, I will definitely be trying to pick up a couple more of those. Now Vino did mention they're hard to find. So uh, Hive and Garden, like I said, I'll link them down below on where I found it. Uh, it was hard to find. Now you could make your own. We might actually try to do that next season, uh, make our own and maybe uh, give my parents and my brother one. So yeah, lots of good stuff coming up. But that's some winter beekeeping for you guys. <laughs> I had to get out here and do it when I had a one one nice day of about 50 degrees. So because I knew they'd be the least likely to be upset about me opening up that top, <laughs> even though we didn't go in there at all. Uh, I still, you know, was a little bit nervous to be really mad and come charge it out at me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, remember, be bold, grow bold, and as always, I'm going to see you guys in the very next video. Wow.